Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and we're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park in Columbia Heights, Montana. And I wanted to do a couple things uh, this afternoon. Um, bear with me because I'm going to be doing a, a long test, and I hope and pray that the internet continues to work and that this continues to work. Um, what I am going to be attempt to do is a test of the battery. So I gotta go live for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna set a timer right here. Hold on one second. I wanna do a product highlight. All right, so I got my timer set for about an hour and 30, 39 minutes, about the length of a service. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a product highlight for you guys and take a little walk around the, maybe a tour of the God's Ten Commandment Park. Hello everybody that's logging on. This is Pastor Scott at the Ten Commandment Park here in Columbia Heights, Montana. I'm going to be doing several things this morning. So if you're just tuning in, great. If you're tuning in later, um, you'll just see. I'm going to just kind of keep busy for the next hour or so. Um, I have to prepare a message for tonight, so I might just set the camera up and you guys can watch the cars go by or just see like a live view of the park here. But I, I'm going to show you our small magnets uh, that we have and the challenge that goes with them that you guys can uh, do if you're in the United States of America. And then I have to keep this rolling for, well, let's just do an hour. We'll see the, let's set a timer for an hour, okay? One hour. So sorry. Um, I want to just see how this works, how this it, it seemed last night at the tent. Um, I'm trying to be prepared for Sunday, the last revival um, that we have, the potluck and the guest speakers. I want to give you guys the best uh, product available in viewing um, that's available. And I, I wanted to also test this battery. Hey, Zip. Hey, everybody that's logging on. We're at the T God's Ten Commandment Park. And I'm gonna let this run for about an hour. So I'm going to highlight the small magnets, take you for a little tour around the God's 10 Commandment Park here, and then just set the camera somewhere. I wanna be logged onto the internet, I'm plugged into the image stabilizer here, the Smooth Q image stabilizer, and I uh, have a 90 degree angle plug and then just a long enough cord to get to the bottom. So this thing is fully self-contained and I wanna see if it will last possibly for the hour and a half, two hour service that we will have um, on Sunday and just generally in speaking to see how long this thing, this battery will last. It says that it will last 12 hours. I'm assuming that's just using the stabilizer. I don't know how long it will last um, with the stabilizer being used and charging the phone at the same time. That is a huge thing that needs to be done when you're doing live because it just sucks the juice out of these, these little batteries on these phones, amen? So uh, that's we're doing a test. So this is gonna be a lengthy um, video. I wanna do it live with you guys. I don't wanna record, I don't want to record a video. I want it to suck as much juice as possible to simulate um, a live broadcast for an hour and then we can kind of adjust from that. I won't go two hours like the service usually is. It's about one hour and a half to two hours generally speaking. But if I go for an hour, I'm gonna really push this battery. I might even stop it at a half hour and see where we're at. I don't know, um, but I got my timer set for an hour. So we're gonna test this. So. Um, let's go for a walk around the park. I'm just giving you guys a head up, heads up. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one eight five five seventy Jesus. And this uh, back camera on this iPhone X ten XR is just magnificent. I mean, look at that. I mean, you can see the gray hairs, <laughs> and um, it's really clear. And they say that these aren't that good. So I'm going to flip this around and show you uh, the small magnets, like I said, then give you a tour of the God's Ten Commandment part. Go ahead, give me your thumbs up, your likes, comments. If you need prayer while we're doing this, feel free to send in a comment right there and I'll pray for you live as we go or as I see it, amen, or we see it later. So send your prayer requests in, keep us in prayer. We're at the God's Ten Commandment Park. We have the last two nights of revival. I'm doing a test on my image stabilizer with the phone plugged in, charging the battery, 
on live to simulate a service tonight to see if this thing will work because I don't want to try it in the service and then have it poop out uh, during the service. Amen. So there might be a visitor come in and I might have to step away of which time I'll just set the camera over somewhere and you guys will just hang out already. I might even just let it sit on the highway and you can just enjoy the scenery and pray for those cars that are coming by or whatever you guys see fit. But let's take a little tour. Um, and I've taken a break from my morning devotions. I have to get something to eat. So, um, and then I have to make something for the potluck tomorrow. So maybe I'll just do a live cooking video. I'm going to make beans and stinky toes for the potluck tomorrow. <laughs> they turned out pretty good the other day. So the highlight I wanted to do today at the God's Ten Commandment part. This is where we serve uh, all summer long from June to October. And I wanted to highlight these because they're just wonderful. And um, let me just flip this around. Hold on. All righty, let's go one, two, and see. Yeah, this is the mode that wherever I go, the camera will follow. All right, so what we have here, let me just flip hands here. We have our small vehicle magnets, as we call them. You can see them right here. It's about the size of my hand, like that. And I got a pretty, pretty good size hand. I don't know the actual size. I haven't measured them. Um, but that's about the size right there. And you guys can get some of these. We can mail them to you um, in a flat rate shipping box. 40 of these for 60 bucks, shipping included. And I'm going to challenge you guys live right here. Remember those old day, uh, days we used to do a dare, or a, a double dog dare, and then we had to do whatever it was. We have several different designs right here for you guys. So let me flip this camera around. So what I'm going to say here, let me just lock this into position. Amen. So it'll lock here. The challenge is this, you get 40 of these vehicle magnets that I just showed you and I'll flip it around again, you get 40 of them for $60, that includes the flat rate shipping box. If you were here at the park visiting, we would give them to you for 40 for $30, something like that. Um, but uh, it says we reward the people that come in, um, but that will include the shipping. So 40 for, I think we can do it for $60. And what you do is you put 10 of these on your car, 10 of these magnets, I'll flip it around and show you. You put 10 on your car and uh, on the sides, the back and the other side, so people can see God's word on your vehicle. And when you pull that a, a gas station or when you go out to eat or whatever, and someone makes a comment and says, hey man, I love your stickers. And you just go, those are not stickers. Let me flip it around. That's a magnet. Let me give you one. <laughs> and then boom, they stick it on their car. Amen. Just like that. And God's word is going forth and you're being part of the ministry and you're co-laboring with us. And people get to see the name of Jesus and the Ten Commandments. Amen. So the challenge is this. Put ten on your car. And then give 30 out, one each day. Give one out for 30 days. That's why we call it the 40-30 challenge. 40 magnets for 30 days. You put 10 on the car and give one out per day. Amen. We got all kinds of different designs. We got patriotic designs. We got uh, the first commandment, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. We got pro-life ones with the, this is a real popular one here. Let me just get it out for you choose life so we have all kinds even for yeah uh, hebrew scholars yashua amen so we give those to you we'll put them in a flat rate shipping box anywhere in the united states of america 40 of them for 60 bucks amen and you guys can be blessed so that's the god's 10 highlight today and then like i said i got a let this roll for quite some time. So I'm going to kill a little bit of time with you guys and just show you around the property. We'll take you outside, then we'll take you back in here. And like I said, if hold on, let me put this down. I believe there might be someone coming in. So hold on. So bear with me. We got to, we got to roll for a while.
So like I said, I'm just gonna let this roll. The idea here is I'm just doing a test of the battery. <laughs> right now, the blue light is blinking. One, two, one, two. It's only blinking twice, which says that it o that only means that it has 50% battery life. So we're gonna try this for as long as we can just to see how long this battery is. I charged it till it shut off the battery and that means that it should be full that should be a hundred percent I didn't check it on the app but we'll see so it's a little alarming that it's already on one two already on only two beeps which according to the thing just says that it's 50% so that's I just charged it they said this thing can go for 12 hours so anyway hi everybody that's logging on I'm just running a test of the battery but let me show you around the property I just showed everybody the uh, small vehicle magnets but let's just show you we're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park let me flip this around so I'll take you around show you the property real quick and then like I said I gotta go for a while I want to maybe 30 minutes I would like to go an hour I really want to press and push in with this uh, image stabilizer to see how well it works and if the gimbal motors are going to heat up or not or any of that but I'll just walk you around the property real quick and then I got to figure out what it is that I'm going to say tonight when I preach as well so I got to get into the message I also have to uh, cook some uh, beans and sticky toes beans and franks for a potluck that we're having tomorrow um, won't have time tomorrow with church and everything and preparing the message and getting ready for the potluck to do that so anyway this is pastor scott we're out here at the god's ten commandment park on the side of highway two in columbia heights montana so i just wanted to show you we got a lot of cars that just driving by i mean Glacier National Park is right uh, way down over there, <laughs> between the caravine there. Hungry Horse is that way, and then about 18 miles that way is Glacier National Park. This way is Columbia Falls and Kalispell. The Word of God says to go into all the nations. Well, here at the Ten Commandment Park, all the nations come to us. Amen? So it's pretty cool. We get people, we just had New Mexico come in this morning, so that was pretty neat. And we have people driving by, they slow down all the time right here on the median or on the side of the road or over there, and they just uh, take pictures and video and such. So we're always praying for these people right here, and every car that passes by will come to know Jesus and be used by Him. But here we are on the side of the road, we got a monument unto the Lord. So let me just show you. You pull in, and the first thing you see is Jesus is Lord. Amen. Then we got the Ten Commandments. It is called the Ten Commandment uh, Park, or as I'm like to call it these past few days, the Ten Commandment Visitor Center. Uh, the, no, the Ten Commandment Monument. <laughs> the Lord says to build a monument unto the Lord. So we got Jesus is Lord, kind of a hippie design right there, old 60s, 70s, pretty cool, um, with some snow and such. And then the first commandment, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And then we got uh, Abraham Lincoln quote here in regards to the book, the Bible. I have but to say it is best, the best gift that God has given to man. Amen. And that is the truth. He didn't have to. But he did. Then we got commandment number two. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Ten commandment uh, sample there. A banner with the New Testament scripture on the bottom. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that is always my prayer at the end of any service or any time that I speak. That people will come to Jesus. And we got commandment number three. Good old Ronnie, if we ever forget that we are one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? 
only reason we're blessed with the freedom that we have is because we dedicated this nation onto God. And we are one nation under God, the God of the Bible, not God's plural, one God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we got commandment number four, keep the Sabbath day holy. And then good old Teddy Roosevelt, a thorough knowledge of the Bible is worth more than a college education. Isn't that truth? And back in biblical times, they used to, they used to study just the Bible. They didn't go to learn about geometry and math and such. They used to learn about the Bible. All 39 books of the Old Testament they had back then. And they were required to know most of it by memory. By the age of 12. The first five books, the Pentateuch. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Jesus, amazing grace. Amen. Commandment number six, thou shalt not kill. And then here we have the God's Ten Commandment Park, Ten Commandment Park Welcome Center. I'm trying to welcome all you guys with a wave on here. Thank you for your hearts and your likes. I'm doing a long broadcast um, giving you a tour. We're 15 minutes into at least a half hour. Um, if not, I'd like to go for an hour because I want to test this battery and push it online with uh, limits to see how long it's going to last. If it starts to blink rapidly, that means that we're almost out of battery and it's going to stop working. And I want to see how this works. If I can just take this into a service and record the whole thing with the tripod and everything handheld, no extra battery packs or any of that other stuff. I have them, but I'm trying to limit the things that I have to do to get to a service to be able to broadcast live and use this image stabilizer to produce a uh, wonderful viewing experience for you guys that I hope will encourage you to watch even longer and to be blessed. Amen. And as we travel the world, we can do more and more. So everybody that comes in gets a free Ten Commandment magnet and sticker, one per vehicle. Then we got Jesus, Lamb of God, not the band. Funny that they should use that name to try and make fun of Jesus. But he will get all the glory and they will answer to him for their folly. So we got the, another commandment right here. Seventh commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. Exodus 20, 14. And I just love this one. This is Webster, the dictionary guy. Noah Webster, founding father, educator, author of the Webster's Dictionary says, education is useless without the Bible. So true. And then we got another commandment, thou shalt not steal all the names of the Lord. And then thou shalt not bear false witness. Don't be lying, speaking up against your brother or snitching for any of you prison folk or jails. Ain't be doing that. You'll get yourself in a wreck. And Jesus, the peace you're missing. That is the peace everybody's missing till he comes and fills their hearts. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, 27, and commandment number 10. Thou shalt not covenant thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covenant thy neighbor's wife, nor his maidservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor his thing, or anything that thy neighbor's. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 21, or Exodus 20, verse 17. And then here's our tent revival where we broadcast Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm doing a lengthy recording here again, trying to broadcast for a minimum of at least 30 minutes with the battery here. But I prefer to go an hour or maybe longer. Hi, Mom. Hi, everybody. Testing the battery, self-contained battery that's connected to the SmoothQ image stabilizer. And I have the tripod, I, which I just set down. <laughs> and the uh, broadcast, tried to, it went sideways, so let's flip this over. 
I don't know what happened. How come it went like that? Come on, go back. I set the phone down and messed it up. See if we can get it back. Nope, we're stuck. That's messed up. So I'm gonna have to stop the broadcast and redo it. I don't know what happened. I set the thing down, it jiggled, and then it went sideways and it won't get back. I don't know how this happened. All I did was set the phone down and then that thing showed up, thing up. So I'm going to have to stop this broadcast. Let me hit pause on the timer. And we'll go back live. Sorry about that, guys.